Hello everyone, myself Simran from Team Cloud EML and today I welcome you all back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see another SQL interview question and today's interview question was asked by the company Zendrive. So let's begin. Before beginning with the question, let's have a small quiz question. This is how many operations are considered to be the most basic SQL operations? Okay, and you're given four uh, options for this. As you know, SQL has numerous operations for various purposes. But which of the operations or how many operations are considered as the most basic operations in SQL? So you need to find out the correct option between all these four options. If you already know the answer, you can put it down in the comment section or else you can uh, watch the entire video to know the answer. Now let's move ahead with the interview question. Write an SQL query to report the largest single number. If there is no single number, report null. So what you have to do, uh, you need to, uh, from given set of numbers, you need to find out the largest single number. Single as in the count is only one, okay, not more than one. That is the meaning of single number, okay. And if there is no such single number, then you need to report null. Let's understand this with an example. So you see that this is a, a table of numbers wherein you have numerous numbers. And the output here is 6. How the output is 6? Let's see. So consider the number 8. 8 is present 2 times in the table. So it will be not considered as a single number. Similarly, 3 is also present 2 times. Okay, and then 1. 1 is present only 1 time. 4 is present 1 time. 5 is present 1 time. And 6 is also present 1 time. All these 4 are single numbers. but you have to find out the largest single number. So here, among these four, the largest number is six, correct? And it is also a single number. So that is why the output will be the number six. Okay, uh, it is a simple question. So let's see how to implement it in MySQL Workbench. First, you will be needed to create a, a database. This database already exists. Let's try another name. So our database has been created. Next, you have to create a table. Let's create a table number. And in this, we have just one column, which is num int of int data type. So run. Okay, the table has been created. Let's insert these sample values itself in the table. So this is the code. Okay, we are inserting the same numbers that we have, we have considered in the sample input. So the numbers have been inserted and this is the table that we have created. Okay, it has the numbers given in the sample input. Now, uh, let's... Uh, we are going to see two approaches for this. First, in the first approach, we are not going to consider the uh, null value. Okay, without the null, we are going to perform the query. So let's see the first approach. In the first approach, first we will be selecting the max of num. Why max? Because we need the largest number, correct? As num. From select num from number group by group by num having count of num greater than equal to one or oh, sorry sorry or oh, it will be just equal to one because we want a single number count of num equal to one okay so this is the code 
Uh, first, let's run this and then I'll make you understand the code. Select num from number group by num family. Let's give this some alias name. Okay, so you see uh, we have got the output as 6. As you know that 6 is the correct output because we have 6 as the sample output. Now let's understand that how the output has occurred as 6. Okay, so see what we have done. First, let's begin with the inner query because inner query is always easy to understand. And you also know that outer query is also based on the inner query, correct? So first, let's see the inner query. What we have done is select num from number, group by num, having count of num equals to 1. So first, let's group by the values by 1 and find out the count. So when you group by, the first uh, first value will be 8, correct? So this is 8, then we have 3, then we have 1, 4, 5 and 6. 1, 4, 5, 6. And up counts as well. The count of 8 is 2, 3 is 2 and all the other counts are 1. So uh, what, what our code does is, it, it only considers the number having count of num is equals to 1. So what it will do, it will eliminate both these values and consider only these values having the count 1. And it is named under the alias as t. See, we have used our alias t, correct? So the inner query has been done. The, now it is time for the outer query. In the outer query, we select max number as, ma as num from. So from this, it considers the maximum number. So as you know, the max number here is 6. And it will print 6 as the output under the name of num. Okay. So we have implemented nested, nested query in this case. In the inner query, we have simply extracted the numbers having the count as 1. And then in the outer query, we have selected the max number. Okay. Now let's move ahead with the second approach wherein we are going to consider the null values as well. So in this case, we are going to use the if null function. What if null function does is it checks whether the value is null or not. First, it will check if it is null. If it is uh, null, then, sorry, if it is null, then it will simply print null. But if it is not null, then we have to provide an expression that has to be printed. So this is the expression that I'm writing. Uh, this expression is just same as the previous code that we have seen. Okay. So from select num from number. Group by num having count of num equal to 1. Okay. And then give a last name as a, suppose, and null. Why this null? That if the number is null, then we are going to simply print null. But if the number is not null, then it will select this expression. Select max num. Let me take it down. First, let's run and check. I think there's an error. Let's check uh, check it out. Okay, this will be okay. 
syntax error one parenthesis was missing now let's check so you see we get the output as 6 what we have done is in this case is what if null function does is c this is the syntax for if null if null expression or null so if the value is null it will simply print null but if it is not null then it will print out this expression okay so uh, suppose that if in our table we do not get any value which is maximum and which is single then it will print null okay but if you haven't mentioned this if null then it will give you an error okay but in our database we in our table we do not have any null value okay so or we do not have any value that is not matching to our condition that is why it is not giving us an error but suppose we had the table as 883355 then it will give you an error why because uh, none of these values are matching our condition that it is single all the values are double correct so in that case it will print null so that is the use of the if null function and whatever expression we have given inside this is similar to the previous approach only but the extra thing that we have added is null okay so i hope you have understood both the approaches it was a, a pretty easy question but uh, you need to use the proper functions at the proper time okay so let's now see the solution of the quiz question so how many operations are considered to be the most basic sql operation and the answer here is four why four because you know that the basic operations in sql are the crude operations crude operations are considered as the most basic operations in sql which are create, read, update, and delete. These four operations are the most basic in SQL, and that is why the answer for our question is four. So I hope you've understood today's question, and thank you for watching the video. Hope you found it helpful. Do like the video, share it, and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.